you just got to be careful and like checking your answer and so on and so forth. So let's just move on this because I want to get to really the heart of what we're um, what we're going to be covering basically for today. So again, guys, if we want to go ahead and differentiate this, we can see we have a chain rule um, inside of there, which actually, sorry, we have the chain rule, but we also we have this product here. So I can't solve for y in this case, but if I go ahead and differentiate with respect to x, I get dy over dx equals cosine of xy, then times the derivative of xy is going to be the product rule, right? because we have to take the derivative of the inside of the function. So now the derivative of this is going to be 1y plus x. Derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx. Now, notice we can distribute here. So I have dy over dx is equal to cosine of xy. Let's write that in front. y cosine of xy plus x cosine of xy dy dx. And then again, what is our general rule? We want to group the dy dx's on the same side and factor it out, right? So I'm going to subtract that x cosine of xy dy dx on the same side. So I have dy over dx minus x cosine of xy dy dx equals y cosine of xy. Then I can factor it out. And when I factor that dy dx out, I'm left with 1 minus x cosine of xy equals, I don't know why I have the add double parenthesis, y cosine of xy. And then I'll just divide by this um, quantity on both sides. So my final answer is dy dx equals y cosine of xy all over 1 minus shoot, x cosine of xy. Cool. All right. So if you guys haven't already noticed, 